detail into weather. Kamaka Pili. You know, at this time of year, we're actually seeing drier conditions than normal. And the other plus that we've been seeing is we're actually seeing a lot more trade winds than we usually see at this time of year. So that's also a plus, which leads us for a plus tomorrow. It's going to be similar conditions. The only thing is a moderate condition for oceans on the east side as we still have a small craft advisory at least until tomorrow. That's for Hawaii Island and portions of Maui. Now, looking at our satellite, it's fairly beautiful. Not much going on. We don't have any real storm systems messing things up. We just have this high pressure system that's really the big uh, weather maker, fueling all these trade winds. But as it continues to move further away from the islands towards the east, it's going to result in some weakening winds. So we're going to have 10 to 20 miles per hour of winds tonight, and that's going to be lasting through the coming days. In terms of tomorrow, what we're going to be seeing, aside from the weakening of our winds, we have this disturbance passing north of the islands along with this cold front. So we're going to see more of a slight southeasterly flow to our trade winds starting tomorrow in through the new week. That will leave the east end of the islands, Hawaii Island, Maui, more with an easterly flow, kind of a lot more direct with that easterly winds. But as we get more closer towards the west, that's where we're going to have more of that shift in Maui, Hawaii Island, blocking off the trade winds from the rest of the islands. So in terms of the shower activity, mainly will be the source of, of moisture towards the east of the islands being brought in with the trade winds. So we can expect our windward and Mauka showers to continue. We do have an uptick of shower activity this evening, especially here on Oahu and that will last through the early morning hours of tomorrow. With these trade winds on the slightly weaker side than we've been seeing in the past couple days, we can expect also leeward showers to take place in the afternoon sides, especially for Kona, but we can expect on the leeward sides of most islands to see some possible afternoon showers due to the daytime heating. For Kauai is the island with the greatest chance of shower activity tomorrow. We're looking at 80 to 100 percent chance throughout the day with cloudy skies. But until then, we're really seeing, again, that uptick of shower activity. Not yet for Kauai. The main portion that we're seeing for the uh, uptick of showers is here on Oahu. And that's what we're going to be seeing, again, at least until tomorrow morning. And then drier conditions are coming. For oceans, 3 to 5, which would be the highest for south and east-facing shores, calmest for the opposite uh, west and north. Now, in terms of the upcoming days, we're going to be having beautiful conditions. The biggest thing to take note is our trade winds will be ramping up by the ending of this coming week to some breezy conditions, so it should be beautiful. Sam, I'll give it back to you.